In this class we are going to discuss about canonical form representation of a Boolean expression. If you want to represent any Boolean expression in terms of canonical form, you are having two forms in that. So, that means you are having two classifications in canonical form. So, that means standard SOP and standard POS form. See here, so one is standard SOP that means S SOP or standard POS that means SPOS. These are the two sub forms in canonical form. So, now we will discuss about the standard SOP. So, standard SOP and SOP, we know about uh, SOP that means sum of products. So, all product terms are summed together that is nothing but SOP. So, we know that about uh, SOP, but what is meant by standard SOP means whatever product terms are there, that product terms must contains all the variables or all literals. So, here each product term contains all the variables of the function. The variable may, uh, variable may be so actual variable or literal. So, see here for example, we can take like this the function f of a comma b comma c by seeing itself you can say this is a three variable function. This three variable function I am giving expression like a bar b c plus a b c bar. So, like this I am giving this is a bar b c plus a b c bar. So, this is a three variable function the expression for this function having two product terms these are the two product terms by seeing itself we can say this is SOP form. So, the, because all the product terms are summed together so this is SOP form. How we can say this is a standard SOP means so whenever each product term contains all the variables then we can call it as S SOP form. So, here A, B, C are our variables. Now, see this product term A bar is there. This A bar is related to A only. I told you when I am discussing about literals. So, A is containing A and A bar as literals. So, no need to have A. So, you may have A bar also. But you, you need traces of all the variables in each and every product term. So, see here you are having A bar related to A and B and C. See here this product term. So, A is there, B is there and complement of C is there no problem. So, all the traces of these variables are present in the product term. So, this is said to be in standard SOP form. So, this is right form of SSOP. For example, your function is in the form of a b plus b c bar and a bar. So, like this if you are having your function, three variable function is there. By seeing itself we can say this is SOP sum of products because all product terms are summed together. This is SOP but not standard SOP. Why? Because so, in this in this expression see the first product term. So, here C is mi missed that means the trace of C is missed here. So, this is not a fulfilled standard SOP form function. So, to convert into standard SOP we are having some procedure that we will discuss later. So, what is meant by standard SOP means this is just SOP but all the product terms contains all the variables of the function. Now, come to standard POS. This is also similar. Each sum term contains all the variables of the function. For example, if you are having a POS form that means product of sums expression is there. If that expression contains all the variables of the function then that is said to be in SPOS standard product of sums form. So, you know the expression, you know the example for POS I am taking here four variable function f of a comma b comma c comma d like this if I am taking then my expression is a b c bar d bar plus a bar b bar c d plus a c b d bar. So, this is my expression. So, this is in SOP form but to write in POS form you need to take the dual of this expression right. So, this is in 
S S O P. But you need S P O S, right? So that's why I'm just taking dual. So A plus B plus C bar plus D bar into so where plus is there? I'm taking multiplication. So where multiplication is there? I'm taking plus A bar plus B bar plus C plus D into so third term A plus C plus B plus D bar. So we can say this is the expression with four variables. So in each sum term, you can say these are the sum terms multiplied together. Now this is POS. How we can say this is a standard POS means see observe each and every sum term. Here each sum term contains all the variables of the function. So we can say this is in SPOS form. So this is right expression in SPOS form. For example, anyone given you like this f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to a plus b into c plus d like this if they given then this is in POS form. Definitely this will be in POS form but SPOS form means this is not in SPOS form because see this sum term so it missed two variables and see this sum term it's also missed first two variables then this expression is just in POS not in SPOS. This is the difference between POS and SPOS. Uh, and SOP and SSOP all these are called as a canonical form representation of a boolean expression.